hands together, ring the cowbells, jump up and down, make some noise for your 2016 with Sega Beach Duathlon winner, Spencer Summerfield. Yeah, there he goes. Congratulations, Spencer. That's a great one. Race. Here's our duathlon woman's winner coming in. She loves it. Andrea Smith with a win. Here's Spencer Summerfield with Sega Beach Sprint Duathlon winner. First win of the year in the series here. Of course, one of our ambassador athletes. So take us through your race today. I know uh, you came zooming by on the bike. Was that where you did most of your damage as usual? Yeah, I usually make up about two minutes on the on the bike. My run's pretty decent, but I'm usually a couple minutes down from the leader. Uh, so I definitely made up a lot of time today and uh, had a lead of about a minute and a half to go out on the last run, which was nice and short, two and a half K. So made up my time on the bike and pushed hard for that uh, that last little run. Now what else you got coming up? I know you're gonna, I think, race close to home. I do, it's uh, Lakeside, last one for me of the season. Go out with a bang. Uh, I'm going to do the sprint do uh, Saturday and hopefully do a triathlon relay in the bike portion on the Sunday. So, yeah. yeah, and I was going to say, uh, if you want to follow Spencer on his uh, exploits, he's always there posting his stuff. So maybe put a plug for your Twitter, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. Uh, easiest way is go to my blog. It's uh, spencersummerfield.ca. I post all kinds of stuff, articles. You can catch my Instagram, Strava reports, race reports, all that fun stuff. And all kinds of recharged milk stuff, of course, too. Now let's talk about something a little different. So you had a little addition to your life. So how's that changed things for you? Oh wow, my daughter. She's uh, eight weeks old now, and she's changed my life. That's for, you know for the better. Uh, training's taking kind of a back seat. Uh, I have to do more intense stuff uh, when I can fit it in. So it's been an adjustment, but I'm getting used to the, the, the lack of sleep. <laughs> so I try and put words together. Yeah, no, she's she's great, and I think it's a great addition. Yeah, so we'll talk about maybe a bit how about that training. So yeah, how, how have you adjusted? I mean, you're still seeming to be hammering it out out there and uh, on the bike. Uh, the bike's my strong point for sure. Um, for me, for running, for training, I do a lot of shorter, higher intensity stuff right now. It's hard to do long runs because you know I want to be around. I got to be home to help out. Uh, so I do a lot of track stuff, a lot of you know 400 repeats, and building pyramids, 400, 800s, 1200s, you know, and keep going 16s. Uh, so I do those, you know, predominantly more than anything else, and then uh, some hard, intense intervals on the bike too to match it, keep the speed up. All right, so uh, see you at Lakeside, and uh, congrats for today. Thanks very much.